Welcome back. So pixel art is a free software for making pixel art, but it's not just that. It's also a pretty much a pixel art social network. I haven't been to it in a while and I've got a thousand followers on there now. The last person to ask me something said, do you exist? I need to be, I need to post on here a little bit more. I didn't realize that um, there was such a big community on pixely art, which is a really good reason to use it and post on it. By the way, there's also a app, which makes it pretty convenient since you can work on your pixel art, you know, on your bus ride or something. Check it out, there's also web comics and this one's done in a pixel art style, which is pretty cool. You can put your art into galleries and there's also groups, contests, color palettes. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here. And this last one, shop, this one's actually really cool. You can wear your art and you can sell it on here. This one's not that great, but I'm sure you can draw something better. Okay, so let's start drawing. By pressing P, it's the hotkey for the pencil tool. You can see the hotkeys when you hover over all these tools, it'd be pretty good to memorize them. And you can also go to file, new, and settings, then key bindings, and here, we can make the pencil tool be something else like, I like to make it R. I like to use Q-W-E-R because I used to play so much League of Legends. Those are just like my favorite hotkeys. So, all right, so if I draw an S shape here, you can see it's kind of jagged, right? So the first thing you want to do is turn on pixel perfect. When you turn on pixel perfect, let me draw another S next to this. Oh my gosh, look, look how much time that saves me going in and trying to erase all these extra pixels. So make sure you got that pixel perfect on and you're instantly going to be a better pixel artist. If you already have some pixel art that you started on, you can go to file open photo. Now I've got a bunch of sprites here from a game I'm working on. Check it out, man. It's a free mobile game you can download now on Android and it's coming to iOS and PC too. And let's see, I'm going to pick the spike snail. If you press spacebar, it kind of shows the image to you with a white background. So what I could do is I can add a layer and then if I click it and drag it, I can go down and then here we can choose a background. So let's say we wanted to see what this would look like on some brown. There you go. And then before you export it, what you can do is you can just turn that layer off so that you have that transparency. By the way, to, let me cover exporting. So you can go to file and then you can go to um, export forward slash download. So here we can download it as a PNG and PNGs have that transparency. And then if you want to show people on Twitter your art, you can select Twitter here. You don't want to export a tiny little sprite. So you're going to want to scale it up when you're exporting it for the internet. So what you can also do is save it as a pixel file. And the reason you'd want to do this is because it'll save the layers. And then if you send that file to a friend or something like that, they can mess with the layers instead of having, you know, basically one image, a PNG. Something pretty cool I wanna show you is that there's this little gear right here next to layer options. And now if I click layer options, here you can see that I can give it an outline. Check it out. <laughs> My character already had an outline, but the point is you can give stuff outlines Let's say I wanted to make different versions of this character. Instead of recoloring the character, I could just change the hue. So let's say I wanted to make like a stronger version or a rare version of this snail. <laughs> we could go here and mess with these colors and then I can go in and tweak it a little bit, but it'll save me a ton of time. There's also this drop shadow here. So you can just create shadows for your shadows for your objects really quickly without having to, you know, do stuff. And if you don't like the changes, you can just press control Z. So if you're drawing a background or like grass or something like that, and you want to make sure it looks good tiled in your game or whatever, there's a button down here. Oh, let me make myself disappear. There's a button down here called tile mode and check it out. When we click this, now we can see what our background would look like if it was repeating. So you can see how this would be pretty useful if you're doing a grass texture, something like the reason why these are not the same brightness is because it's just showing you where your tile ends or else it'd be kind of hard to tell where your tile ends. But one of the things that we can do is we can go to, uh, you can go to settings 
and here we can turn the grid on. Now with the grid on, we can clearly see where our piece of art is, so it'll make it easier to draw that tile that you want. So let's say I wanted to draw a coin. A really cool tool is the mirror X and mirror Y. So I'm just gonna do mirror X. And now let's say I'm drawing a coin, whatever I draw on one side is going to reflect back on the other. So I'm just quickly here, um, gonna draw a kind of crappy coin. <laughs> So I added a frame and you can see there's a very light version of the previous frame. So what I can do now is take the selection tool, select this coin, and here you can click one of these icons or you can press control C and then, and then let me go back to the next frame and here I can press control V and I pasted it. And let's say we wanted the coin to, to start like spinning or whatever. So I'm gonna squish it on both sides here. Maybe I did a little too much, whatever. Maybe something like that. And uh, oops, there we go. That's a good spot. And I'm gonna press R. I'm just gonna color in the, oh, I gotta turn off the mirror tool. And I'm just gonna color that in a little bit. And now if I go to the frames and I press space bar, we can see it animate and <laughs> this obviously needs more frames but the cool thing is that you can create animations in pixel art so now when i export it i can export it as a gif and it will be animated or as a sprite sheet if i wanted to use it in a game i would export it as a sprite sheet so a sprite sheet is one image but it has every frame next to the next one and then within the game engine, you can chop it up and animate it. There's probably a few more things I could show you with pixel art, but honestly, go check it out, hop in, mess around, you'll figure it out. And even if you don't wanna use the software, it's a great community for showing off your pixel art, like this awesome Howl's Moving Castle. I'll see you guys next time, DevLive.